Oh. Is it working? There we go. Okay. That might be very loud. I can't really tell. Let me cut this down. There I am. Hello. Hello, hello. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Thank you for being here. Um, and Paul, if you're here, thank you for being here. Taking time out of your day. I apologize for being late. A lot just kind of all happened at once. Thank you so much for the host. Yeah, a lot just kind of happened all at once right before, like right at 8, and I'm really sorry about all of that, and I'm sorry for being late and asking you guys to wait around. Um, uh, so I'm here now, and um, I figured that ocean looks like dream. Yeah, a little bit. Um, so this is a full motion video game that Paul, my friend Paul made. You guys probably know Paul by this point. Um, and this is the Awkward Steve duology. I assume that this is the first game and this is the second game. If I'm correct, I'm not sure. I guess I'll start here and then do this one. Um, I don't think I've ever been on time for anything. Well, it's because I'm late <laughs> that you're on time, so. Um, I guess I'll just jump right in. But not for legitimate reasons like you. Oh. Okay, um, I guess I'll just jump in. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of chill with this game tonight. Um, okay. Let me know if anything's too loud or, or too soft or anything. A stranger comes calling. Part of the Awkward Steve legacy. That looks like a link. Oh, it's moving. This is Paul. This is not plugged into anything. <laughs> Anxiety 25. This isn't, it's not plugged in. <laughs> yes, you are in this. But I am not expecting anyone. Oh, was that the doorbell? Hi, Justin. Thank you for the host. Hope you're having a good weekend. Problem. Um, oh, my anxiety went up. So if we get our anxiety up too high, do we, like, die? <laughs> Hide under the table? Do you think that's what's going to help our anxiety the most? Um. Oh no! I'm sorry, Paul. We just started. I'm going to try to see who's at the door. I hope Paul doesn't actually walk like that in real life. <laughs> Help me. Anxiety's at 80. Oh, 
I don't want to hurt awkward Steve. Keep going. Yeah, keep, I can do this. This is called Awkward Steve, the Awkward Steve duology. And we're gonna try not to have an anxiety attack, I think. It's a game about me so far. A black and white live action game about opening doors. How strange. I can't see anyone. <phone rings> Answer the door. Get in box. Call the cops. I feel like calling the cops is going to not help our anxiety. Let's... Let's get in the box. I don't know what box that is. If it fits, I sits. Bones? <laughs> what? Yay, I'm glad you can see the game. It doesn't work. I don't know what I did. Oh, ask, ask the internet. That's always good. Let's ask the internet. Yeah, I just started the game. Nice finger flex. Yahoo answers. Submit your question. There's a person at my door. <laughs> they are a stranger. And now we wait. You have received an email. That was definitely the most anxiety inducing thing so far. Just answer it, Steve. You got this, smiley face. Hey, Salad. I do got this. Maybe. Hang out with rabbits? I feel like you should never read the comments on the internet. I feel like reading the comments on the internet is not a way to help with anxiety. So let's hang out with rabbits. Oh, look, rabbits. Yay, bunnies. Make some tea. Oh, okay, enjoy your lurk. Yeah, sure. What kind? Green tea. <laughs> and how? In microwave like a monster? <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> we maybe might be a monster. Yeah, let's do it like a monster. Steve, what are you doing? Steve has a wedding ring on. Where is his spouse? Why did they not answer the door for Steve? You, you have one of the spinny dial, like, microwaves? I see the pug face in the... That's a really good shot. I like using the reflection. Oh, maybe the spell... Not everyone who wears wedding rings are married? I guess. <laughs> Maybe Steve wears it to avoid awkward uh, situations where he might get hit on without wanting to be. So he avoids that by putting on a fake wedding ring. Oh yeah. Yum. So relax. <laughs> Alright, should we answer the door? No, what were we doing again? You should try that, CJ. Are we back at the beginning? All right, let's answer the door. Uh-oh. Steve, answer the door. Didn't we do this already? <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, anxiety's okay. We're not at 75 anymore. <laughs> My personal anxiety is usually at about a 90. And I do lots of things. So Steve can do this. The box was pretty amazing. How strange. I can't see anyone. Okay, so this is the same thing as before. Answer the door. No! Let's call the cops for funsies. That is a Game Boy. How long is the police number on your Game Boy? <laughs> yes, this is the cops. What crime is it? Hi, hello, yes, there is persons unknown at my door in the outside area. Look at that mustache. Are they a bad guy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Should we come jail them or... Hmm. Hmm. 
Should we come jail them? Yeah, sure. Yes, that would be great. Ha ha ha. We don't arrest people for being strangers. We're all strangers to someone, kid. But... I hope at the door it's the pizza delivery boy who saved the world. Police out. That would be awesome. It's Doug. Can you guys hear, like, the sound effects and everything okay? Ooh, check security camera. That sounds good. I don't have a security camera. So, do I have to get my anxiety down? to a certain point to be able to answer the door? And is the point of the game just to like continue like calming myself down until I can answer the door? And I wonder what that benchmark is. Read the comments. Maybe I'll have to do that. Zero? Do I have to get the anxiety down to zero? I wonder if Paul's still here. And now we wait. I just want to make sure that I understand the point of the game. You have received an email. That's a scary voice, and that would give me anxiety, so I don't know why his anxiety goes down. See, he says, I do got this, so am I supposed to, like, go... Let's read the comments. Maybe I should have answered it then. This should be interesting. Are you an idiot, Steve? Man up, bro. I hate you, Steve. It's me at the door. You're dead now. That was not... I was right the first time. You should never read the comments. I guess I deserved that. Hmm. Hang out with rabbits. Oh, look, they put my comments in the game. Oh. Okay, rabbits. Yay, bunnies. I'm gonna keep hanging out with rabbits. Ooh, cool buns. Hang out with Turtle. Look at Turtle being so chill. Turtle! <laughs> Do a crossword. But, but... But, 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 but. But. Make some tea. Look at how low our anxiety is. I 
feel like green tea is the most soothing tea. Butts McButts. The best earthbound player. Let's do on stove. That's a very cool shot, too. A lot of these are very cinematic, Paul. I don't know what soda tea is. Is it like steeping tea in like seltzer? What is it though? Is it like I said, is it like steeping? This is taking forever. I hope I don't raise my anxiety because it takes so long. Oh, I give up. Steve, why? like I always say. A watched pot is stupid. <laughs> Uh-oh. Answer the door. No. What were we doing again? It usually starts over when I get here. Yeah, it starts over. So I think I have to get my anxiety down. What does hiding under the table do? Let's try. They'll never see you there, Steve. They'll never see you there. This was definitely a good idea. Answer the door, we're in the green. Let's do this. We can do it, we can do it, we can answer the door. Who is at the door? You are always in the green. It is nothing. Glad we hit under the table for that, too. Run, hide, be a grown up. Be a grown uh, I don't know. I don't want to be a grown up, but let's do it. Yeah. Trick or treat. Uh-oh. Do we have candy?
You have been enjoying A Stranger Comes Calling, part of the Awkward Steve legacy. An o o objet d'art? Writer, director, head boy, programmer, casting, cast, stunt, cinematographer, proofreader, art direction, prop master, set decoration, sound design, fully recordist, lighting, animal wrangler, beard wrangler, decolorization, PR, and craft service, Paul Franzen. Featuring Maya, Phoenix, and Agros as themselves, and Max Porter as Cool Sharp. Wardrobe for Mr. Franzen, provided by Paul Franzen. Testers. Anna, Deborah, Diana, Lizzo, got some musics, yeah, gotta wrangle that beard in, you know. Hi there, Shannon. Don't worry, it's not the end. Hi there, C. How you doing? Special thanks to Christian and Melanie Porter for use of their child. Lizzo for trusting me with her pristine Game Boy. The wonderful house we rented in Ohio. You for playing this dumb, dumb game. And Lizzo again for always answering the door. Aww, that's sweet. Shouting out Shannon and C. All right, we still have the other the other part of the duology. Um, that it's called the Awkward Steve duology. Uh, so you the one that we just played. A voicemail. Okay, so the one we just played was A Stranger Comes Calling, where we played a anxious man named Steve. And we had to calm ourselves down, get our anxiety level down low enough that we could answer the door. So now we're going to do this one that looks like it's called Ocean. Don't turn your back on the ocean. Is Steve barefoot? Well, I mean, I guess it is the beach, so... Okay. Oh, look, it's like a lion. Riddy, you are in this game. That's Steve's favorite shirt, apparently. CJ thinks it says dream. Is Steve wearing his wedding ring in this one? Look, monkey. There's also a bunny. Time to do something else, I guess. His shirt is epic. I think he's talking at the carpet. Maybe I'll go to my happy place. That's exciting and very adulty.
can do it, Steve. Whatever it is you're going to do. Ten Thousand Jokes, Toasts, and Stories. That sounds like a good book. Oh no! Another part about being adulty is being able to eat cake whenever you want. What? There's just neighbors. But wait, my room. It's gonna be a rager, bro. We're gonna be here all night long. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I live here now. Wait, what? Is he in his room? And that's his roommate throwing a party? Keep reading, whatever. Yes. They're probably just going to do drugs anyway. Oh, he's in the bathroom? Oh, he's in the bathroom, yes. This is bathroom reading. Oops, I finished it. He can't, his anxiety keeps him in there. Basic microwaving is one of your, your potty reads? How to be your own best friend. Ow! My heart for Steve. Oh, thank you for trying to be here, Paul. Have a wonderful night. <clears throat> At least there's so much fun stuff to do here. Let's read the toothpaste. Nailed it. <gasps> I can't imagine how long that took to freaking clean up. Steve, I would just dance by myself in the bathroom, sadly, like this. I'm reading the toilet paper. Okay, done. I don't know, CJ, I don't know. Done. This bathroom's gonna be wrecked. Steve is giving you anxiety? Cool beans. What's next on our day of fun? Take a shower, that sounds fun.
He still has his wedding ring on. in the shower. Whoops, forgot those were in there. That's true, Riddy. This has all been very enjoyable, but I'm tired now. What if other people need the bathroom? Maybe I'll go to my happy place. Oh, CJ, thanks. That is that actually fills me with like a lot of anxiety just thinking about that. <sighs> my it's a two-part fear. Slipping is just the first part. The second part is that somebody's going to have to come pull my wet naked body as I'm unconscious out of the bottom of the shower. The beach. It's beautiful. See is still on that toothpaste. Somebody was gonna have to use the bathroom. Uh, is somebody in there? Hide in the shower. Steve, hide in the shower. I'm trash. What? Oh, hey, it's Adam. Here, dude, have a drum. Adam? Wait, you sure? All right, more for me. Is he here? What, Steve? No, I, I haven't seen him. He's probably dead. Later, bro. These guys are buttholes. I should probably go out there, right? Um, all my cool stuff is there. Well. I suppose not. After all, there's no telling what'll happen to me out there. It's a room full of party monsters who might try to devour me or worse, try to talk to me. Maybe they'll ask why I've been hiding in the bathroom all this time, but what am I going to tell them? That I'm scared of them just because I am? On the other hand, it would be good to get out of my comfort zone. That's what my mom's always telling me anyway. You'll never meet someone if you don't put yourself out there. I wonder how she's doing. I should call her. It's been a few days. She's always like parties. Maybe she could give me some advice. I guess the first time I really enjoyed myself at the party was never. I tried, though. This one time I had to sleep over at my friend's with all my house. Was, I was the first, first of all asleep, and when I woke up, I looked in the mirror, and would you believe it? No one even bothered to draw my face. It was devastating. I can't read that fast. 
Okay, I should do this. I should go to the party. Here's me going to the party. The party. 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 Ever notice how if you say a word a bunch of times it starts to lose its meaning? Party. 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 It doesn't even look real to me anymore. Oops, I'm a skeleton now. I killed Steve. Yes. Yes, it is important that I be there. <laughs> Steve is all around us. We are all Steve. I'm a murderer. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> what is my plan of attack? Fashion a disguise. Perfect. You're a turtle. Where did Steve go? Perfect. No, no, it's just me, a common laundry basket. Steve is dead. He literally died of embarrassment. I killed Steve again. You're doing great. Thank you. I guess we're gonna cause a distraction. Okay, yes, I will call in a bomb threat. At least I didn't squish him with an elevator. Hey, there is a bomb! Hey, who said that? Not Steve. Now I can make my escape. can't do it. Oh, whatever. What is that? 27 problems only introverts will understand. This has nothing to do with me. What is that? Oh, checking phone? It was like... Like a house phone? <laughs> Play a board game. Why you have that in the bathroom, I don't know, but... The game of dead. <laughs> How did that kill him? Why are you so dead, Steve? How did that- <laughs> Trim beard. Watch him cut himself open and bleed to death.
I don't understand these deaths. I guess we're just gonna check the phone again. Steve is dead from... That sounds like I imagine a hug feels. Is this Steve? Knock once for yes, twice for no. I don't understand either. Steve was dead, 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 and now he's not. have class together. That was nice of Adam. I know this. Can I sit here? It smells less like drugs here. I'll be quiet. Why not? Good for Adam. Thanks. It's a duck. Rock, cool dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Rock, okay, I'm going with Riddy's suggestion. I don't understand. <laughs> Do you want to see my rock collection? Yes. Duh, I'd love to. You can't fit those under the door, Steve. Steve, they won't fit under the door. You're really good at rocks. Is he crying? So how do you know my roommate? <laughs> how do you know my roommate Dick? 
seems like an appropriate name. Sorry I picked without seeing your thing. We used to date. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he seems like A plus dude. Me too. Cool dude. You're a cool dude, Adam. Why aren't you hanging with the other cool dudes? I'd rather hang out with an awesome Steve than 50 loud drunkos any day. Who is this awesome Steve? A cookie? Do you think you could get me a cookie, please? Is that sick? Yeah, cookie. Why are you? <laughs> Have two. Steve, I have a question for you. Why don't you ever say hi in class? Because he's awkward, Steve. Too nervous. Steve, do you know how hard it is to meet someone in bathroom? Steve, why are you... Please, Steve. You don't have to be. You aren't now, are you? I mean, I'm sitting in a bathroom by myself. Real life is harder. I like you, Adam. break you Steve you could just break the door <laughs> but that might be considered property I just want to see all of them which Hogwarts house are you I'm not a child Steve I have no idea sad. <laughs> I don't even Harry Potter and I know that. Just kidding, I'm a Hufflepuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know. What is your favorite date on the calendar? Please say April, what is it, April 29th? Is it April 29th? President's Day, although today is looking pretty good too. Play a game. Do you want to play a game? Go fish. Thermonuclear war. Go dig. How are they?
Is that a Game Boy Link cable? They're playing Tetris. Magic the Gathering. Oh, that would be depressing, and I really hope it's not the case, CJ. <clears throat> All this happened while he was dead, dead, dead. Oh no. Maybe this, maybe that's what this is. It's like he's dead, 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 and this is just like, look at the turtle. This is just like a strange. Is that door open? Is it bigger than a bread basket? No. Does it smell? Kinda. This song, they've played the same song for hours at this party. My love, Jing. I love popsicles. He needs some happiness. Fluff the beard. Just the hat. Did he make all that up?
I don't know what to say. That got so dark. So it all happened, and it was like he was going through all of the memory. And because he's dead now. But despite the slow decay. So is Steve dead, dead, dead too? The slow hypnotic asymptotic slide. Blame fall. That's really depressing. <laughs> Time passes in measured steps. Most I have to say I didn't see that coming. So that's good, right? Adam definitely dead, right? Like that was about dream slash ocean oh my gosh was ocean written that way so it would look like dream if so that's really brilliant received a voicemail. Welp. We did it. We did it. We did it. Why do they both have full stops? Because from what I understand, um, A Stranger Comes Calling came out like two or three years ago. Um, and then Paul wrote the sequel and then released the sequel and the original as like a duology, which is what I have. So that's why there's technically two endings. Oh. Oh, the periods? I don't know. Well, this wasn't a very long stream because I didn't know how long this game was going to be, so that's fine because I started kind of late and so it's already 9.30. Um, tomorrow, this, so this music is making me sad so I'm going to turn it off. Um, tomorrow I will probably stream at like, I originally had posted 2pm, I think I'm going to do 1pm because... My mom just wants my company for part of the afternoon. Um, so I'm going to do some Splatoon tomorrow from 1 to 3 Eastern Time. If anybody wants to join or watch or whatever, that's fine. I know I'm a little sad as well. <laughs> we need that party music again. Um, yeah, that was, that was definitely not expected. Um, yes, Paige, I'm sorry. I'm about to end. Uh, it was only like an hour long stream. Um, but... Feel free to rewatch if you like. It was pretty good. Um, good storytelling, um, especially that second part. But yeah, um, we're all sad now because of the ending of that second one. <laughs> A little depressing without giving spoilers. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, again, sorry for the late start. Um, and, but thank you guys for hanging out, those that were here. 
Uh, and those who came in and popped in, uh, thanks to Paul, if you rewatch this later. Um, yeah. Uh, it was very good, uh, storytelling. Definitely was not expecting that ending. Um, so thank you guys, uh, for being here. Sorry for the short stream. Um, I'm getting tired. Uh, it's been a long and sort of weird day. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of wrap up everything for the night and just kind of get into bed and chill out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon. Um, take care, everybody. Um, I'll see you soon. Um, as always, much love from me to you, and I'll take. Uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Bye.